What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square. Jay Caesar is back. Mr. James Shua. How you I feeling? am back. I'm feeling much better. Welcome Happy back. Happy to be here. I got a sore throat. Little you cough. You got a sore throat? You're going to be drinking a lot of water in this review? Let's Love do it. it. Lego Movie 2. The second the part. The second part. Uh, we both loved the Lego Movie. Fun. And we both loved Lego Batman. Mm. But uh, for some reason, I didn't watch uh, Ninjago. I didn't see Ninjago either. What does that say? That just says that if it's not a, a pro I don't know. I don't know because the Lego movie. Wasn't I didn't want to really, watch like, the first one. Problem. I just enjoyed it. Yeah. Until that last. Well, I part. thought I thought it'd be fun, and it was fun. It was cool, except that last part. What that, that last, last part, part killed it. When you yeah, haven't seen the Lego movie, but when they revealed that it was like humans and it was a real world, I don't want it to just be in a Lego world. That's it. Yeah. No need for humans. Anyway, I digress. Anyway, you digress. Now we're going to do the second part. Um, you know, the Lego obviously have been really big hits, and they're producing a lot of like smaller movies now, like the all the ones that on you see on Netflix now. Like Lego movies are going to have their own kind of subgenre, it seems like. But the main story, the the one that everyone had everyone fall in love with, is the Lego Movie. And now we have a second part, and I have to say, going into it. <coughs> I wasn't really excited. I don't know if the whole Lego thing is burnt out on me. Well, or... the first one, uh, money wise, did this. Yeah. Lego Batman, this. Ninjago, this. Yeah. That's a bummer. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, I get, I get Ninjago. Maybe too much of too fast. Probably. I mean, we have gotten a lot in recent. Three in a row, yeah, right? Yeah. Or two in it's, a row. It is a lot. But anyway, I was hoping you know the Lego Move Two would be an enjoyable experience, even though I was, I will say, it wasn't like super pumped about it. What did you think of the Lego movie? To the second part. Well, uh, like you just said, I came in with no momentum, and I have to say, I enjoyed myself. I don't think okay. I enjoyed myself as much as the first one, but I enjoyed myself, and I actually thought I'd get annoyed because they continued this human aspect. Yeah. And I thought I would get annoyed of it, and I don't think I did, but also I'm not gonna give it props either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do with that, but the the charm was there the, of the film. You know, they had the little Back to the Future. They had some DeLorean. They had the Raptors because Chris Pratt was in Jurassic World. So you know, they throw in the they Raptors. They did all of his yeah. characters. Anything, the cowboy, <laughs> anything he was in. Everything they, he was th in. They threw it in, and I got a kick out of that. But that wore off very quickly. But I'm just saying, I did get yeah. a kick out of that. Um, I enjoyed that aspect, and overall, I'll say <clears throat> that I did enjoy myself. And one of the things that brings things from like a good to great to 10 out of 10 yeah. is the rewatchable factor and all that. And I already know I'm not, I don't want to watch this again. Yeah. You know, I, I know that already. But I'm not going to lie, I enjoyed myself. So this but is like in the middle? Yeah. Five? I'll, I'll, I'll be kind to say six. Okay. But really? nowhere past that. I, you looked very bored. Nowhere past that. I checked on you that. a few times. I wanted to see if you were going <laughs> to. What, what did my face look like? You just. That's what I was like, too. There was one point in the movie where I was like, oh my god, I've only, we've only been watching this for an hour. <laughs> And like, I'm not to say that I agree, like this movie wasn't terrible, I didn't hate it or anything. It just didn't, uh, there was just no chemistry, they're like just, it just didn't click as well as the first movie. And you know, I think almost immediately it's like, okay, when we kind of um, are transported back to the end of the original Lego movie, and you're just kind of watching, you're like, oh, we're gonna do all this again? Okay. And uh, I just from there, it was just like, all right, it's fine. And you, of course, there are some really, really great gags. I thought, I, I mean, I, I laughed out loud multiple times in the movie, but not nearly as much as I did in the first Lego like, movie. And it, it, I think it just kind of wore off on me. And I also think that obviously the story is nowhere as, as strong as the first, but uh, I think part of the first one's charm is that it was the first and we got all, see all these different properties and you know, all this cool stuff. But this movie just kind of feels like a rushed sequel, you know, something that we just needed to pump out to continue the train, and uh, it feels that way. But I think I would enjoy more if there's no humans. So the human, yeah, but like that didn't. I mean, see, to me, because that that didn't really. I don't. I didn't love that aspect of the first one, but I didn't mind it. So this one, it didn't really bother me, and you know, kind of knowing going in that there was humans involved, like it immediately makes sense. Like everything does make yeah. sense. But that what what upsets me about it is then the movie. Uh, I guess spoiler alert, <laughs> eventually leads to where the Legos can are actually alive. They're not just yeah. yeah so yeah. like then they eventually bring them back. So then like why even bother to have the humans and why? Like I get it. Like okay, so obviously this is the real world. This is the world that, of imagination. But once you blur that line, and like, why bother? Of, shades of Toy Story. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I mean if you're just gonna do that, then why even create a fake world? Why not just let them? be Legos in the real world, which I'm sure yeah. the third one could be. Part three, yeah, the third part, three. part. I will say, the one like moment where I was like, this this, this could work, 
is like we had an almost Empire Strikes Back ending. And I was actually like, are we gonna do this? And of course they don't, you know, they have to go for the happy ending, but like they, there's a really dark part of the movie and it says end and I was like, no way, like we are gonna get a trilogy and I was kind of in it and of course they don't do that though. You would've loved that. God, I would've loved that. That would've got me pumped just because like how many kids would've been like, huh? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yeah. But it's good, like I, that would've been, a, I think that like granted, you know, the cliffhanger endings are, are a bit cheap, but I just think no one would've saw that coming. And at least would've been like, all right, cool. Uh, but I will say, um, the best joke of the movie, I think, comes, is the last joke and last line of the, or last moment of the movie, and I think that was the strongest part, so I'm glad it didn't end there. Uh, music was okay, like, obviously they're trying to recreate that viral uh, uh, phenomenon awesome. with everything is awesome, and they, they try really hard multiple times, and I think the music's fine, and very much like the first, but not, I don't think it's gonna catch on as well, and, and to be honest, I just don't see this movie doing as well. I, I mean, already, you telling me that way, I, I just, even someone who loved the first movie, I, I, I don't have that urge to see it, so I'm sure it won't do that great. Which is a bummer, because it is it is a cool idea, and it, it's fun to explore, but, you know. What about all the uh, <laughs> Justice League hate and, and the Marvel, and all the comic book stuff? <laughs> it's fine. You get Superman. Yeah, it's fine. No, I did enjoy the fact that they were like, worshiping. Like, yeah. yeah, I did enjoy the worshiping. worshiping hash, yeah, hash, like Superman. That yeah, was I, good. I did enjoy that. That was very clever. You know, and then, um, that was a great song. That is probably the best part. Like, besides the very last joke, I think that's the best what part of the, the movie. Last joke? The last joke is um, the reveal of uh, <clears throat> who Love? someone really is. Love? When, when, when they get to the house at the end, there's something revealed through an image. And he's like, <gasps> oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. the original, yeah. oh, okay, got it, sorry, sorry. I yes. think that, for me, it was like the, the best joke in the movie, but I will say, I laughed a ton during that whole uh, Tiffany Haddish, uh, want to marry Superman, not Batman thing, the bat, the Gotham boys aren't for me, or whatever it was. So I, I did enjoy that song, and that's partially only because of Will Arnett, though. You know, and, and if I had to choose either the bat, Lego Batman movie or the Lego movie, I'm choosing the Batman one, because. Will Arnett is great as that character, so. A lot of voices in the movie, but like no one stands out, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's alright. Love it. It's February. It's the beginning of the year. That's but next week I'm gonna get jacked up. You are gonna be jacked up. I am jacked up, but I think we're jacked up for two different reasons. Alita, well, I guess you're... Battle, Angel. I am excited for Happy Death Day to You. Uh, a movie that I absolutely loved last year, and I think, you know, the idea that we pump out the same movies over and over again to literally almost kind of try to recreate that uh, with a twist will be a lot of fun. James Cameron, a love story, amazing visuals, I'm in. I'm hoping <clears throat> Alita is good, but I, I'm kind of like... <laughs> uh, but you, I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah. Next week, uh, for Valentine's Day, we're going to be here. So celebrate. Uh, bring a loved one. Come check it out with us. We're going to be watching a bunch of good movies, and uh, we want you to join us here at AMC Town Square at 10 o'clock. Is there a third film? or? Um, no, those are going to be the main two. All righty. There might be some other smaller films, but those are the ones we'll uh, be talking about. Love it. Absolutely. Change the film.com is known as... The Film Lower's website.